Good evening, this is Kuro. Got a ranked game in my black. And in this game I'm going to talk a bit about a lost art. And that's smoking up a cruiser. And the game winning implications that it brings. Uh, going over the matchmaking enemy team has a Missouri, Musashi, a Buki, a Black, and double Kitakaze. So my game plan here is I want to get my my buffalo into a position where we can dominate um, this area of the the map. Um, it's good territory because he can kind of hold on to you know this this sort of island area. Or if the smoke is wearing out, he can just turn out, kite out, and uh, and get safe before the smoke screens up. Uh, you know the the DDs on my team, Yugumo, Kitakaze, they've got shorter smoke screens uh, than I do, so this is ideally uh, a move suited to uh, a U.S. destroyer. Uh, honestly, Fletcher would be. Uh, a better choice this game than uh, than black. I don't I don't use radar once during the course of this game, uh, and it's not the it's not like a really exciting game from my st uh, my standpoint as far as my performance. But I am you know the basically permitting most of the work being done just by how I'm playing. So I come up here and I'm, I'm just laying a long line of smoke from behind this island. I don't want this buffalo to get spotted. Just laying it right out here. And as I'm coming out here, you can see the field of fire. He's going to be able to get into this cab. Uh, they, enemy team sees smoke, so they go on ahead and they're radaring. Uh, me right out of the gate and uh, I mean my buffalo already has radar range on this guy just moving up here and uh, right in here the enemy uh, loses vision on me there's my buffalo's radar and you know, just just good synergy here. Uh, Fletcher is just as capable of doing this sort of maneuver as uh, as Black is. Um, you'll notice that I'm sitting outside the smoke. I wanted to get any sort of vision back in here. We have Nabuki pushing up. I'm gonna throw some torpedoes out thinking that this guy's going to basically come out and kite away. Uh, I just don't see... We've already killed his destroyer screen. I don't know why he would push in. But that's... Uh, he's just going to go on ahead and make the uh, the push in. Mike off. Mike on. So, I'm going to pop out into this view. You can see I'm, I'm kiting back into this area where there's no smoke. And I'm doing that so I can maintain vision on the Ibuki for my buffalo. Torpedoes to starboard. Thank you, baby. And just coming up here, I'm trying to stay out of my smoke mostly. But I'm getting into a position where might need to re-smoke uh, my buffalo. Uh, they've still got battleships that are looking like he, they may potentially get a shot at him. <laughs> so, just going to come up here and uh, going to jump in here uh, shortly with my guns. I'm going ahead, I'm dropping the smoke, but at this range, he's detected by the Ibuki. 
So the faster this guy dies, the safer my cruiser is going to be. Abuki's got Hydro up. And at this point, he's turning broadside to, to try to shoot me. I'm using AP, and my buffalo is going to put this guy down. There's the shot. Bloop. And instantly, my buffalo is safe to you know, any potential fire from uh, the battleships because nothing can no longer spot him. Um... Torpedoes to port. Just, I, I highlight this clip as, you know, a, an example of good teamwork. You don't see this kind of uh, gameplay anymore. In this game, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. Um, because this, you know, the enemy team's already down two ships. They've lost half the map. And uh, they're going to get pinched out here shortly. And... Uh, you know, this is just really decisive uh, gameplay. Um, so, when you talk about smoking up your cruisers, spend some time, figure out, you know, how, uh, you know, the, the smoke firing distances on, on these uh, cruisers. Light cruisers are easier to smoke up. Generally, they have roughly uh, six kilometer uh, concealment range. Um, the heavy cruisers, you know, they it, it all depends on the gun size. You know, something like Moskva, um, they're very visible in the smoke, and there's ways to smoke them. Where, for example, if there was a Moskva back in here, I could lay a you know a line of smoke through this corridor and he could sit behind it and as long as he's you know outside of his smoke firing range and nobody has line of sight to him he's good uh, so a couple different ways to, to lay smoke and again I, I make this video because it's it's gameplay that I don't see anybody doing and uh, I think that's because people are have kind of thrown their hands up in the air um, when it comes to smoking up ships because they can't be bothered with, oh, well, there's a smoke firing penalty. You know, uh, I don't know what that is. I, you know, it, I don't. They're just not going to, it's not going to be useful, Torpedoes, blah, blah, blah. Front. And the thing is, is, as a destroyer player, you're the key to setting all of that up. You're the one laying the smoke and creating the opportunity for your cruiser player. Um, so, you know, take the time and, and educate yourself on how to do this correctly. And... Uh, you get a powerful tool that you can use later on in the game. So, nice quick game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Talk to you later.